not working well. Oh, my. Look out, Darkinian down for the first time. Yes. Struggling to get to his feet. Stubber. In terrible shape. It's all over. It's all over. Deeper Deeper reach. And those are the things that you always wonder, can a Darkinian, who's a fighter, go by the near that bit? Two things have happened. The right hand is landing for Darkinian. I gotta be honest, in the first half of round one, he's been hit more than we've seen in all the fights, and he's getting whacked by Donaire. He just got hit. That was a shot. He just got hit by a left hand by Nonito Donaire. Donaire comes out blazing here midway through the first round. Now, the danger in all this is Donaire better not get too brave. His mission is to be a boxer puncher, even a, though a powerful one. Now, Darchin is trying to push is the correct thing to do and another wild swing and a miss there by a dark along the way in his pro career but i don't think he's ever lost one the way he's losing this one donaire said he's very cognizant of darchidian's uppercut but that straight left can really wear you down boy donaire uh, not a buckle there with Vic Darcini, and there's the right hand landing, and even those wild punches by Donaire don't get countered by Darcini. And it's not really just the right hand either. There's a nice left counter left hook by Donaire. The trick for Donaire was to counter well as Darcini came in, and for the most part, he has done it. Already after round one, the in the red and white, 17 and one with 10 knockouts. The champion Darcini of the black trucks, Donaire. A huge underdog, yet he feels Darchinian has built his record on washed-up fighters and guys moving up in weight. Well, at least tonight, Darchinian in there with someone who's fought mostly at flyweight and super flyweight. But remember, Darchinian regularly spars with guys much bigger than him. Darchinian 28-0 with 22 knockouts. Now, Darchinian told us he wanted to use his right hand a lot more in this fight. He's known primarily as a left-handed puncher. So let's see if he tries to throw the right hook and the right upper and cut a little more against Donaire. And the reason for that, because he knows that Donaire is going to be circling to his left to try to get away from his power, the left hand. So he'll try to surprise him with the right. There it is, right there on cue. You know what I'm surprised at? And, and it's a good weapon. Oh, left hand by Donaire to the head. He is landing the jab. Donaire's also landing his left hook pretty well. And of course, that's a good weapon against the southpaw. Donaire not known for that punch. And he's had hand problems with his left. Broken in his second fight as a pro. And it's been troubling him sometimes in fights since. Oh, Darchinian got nailed. And then he came back. Here's a right hand. A miss by the Donaire with the left hand. And it is really heating up here in round two. No, Nino Donaire is making this an interesting fight, but boy, he could make it too interesting for himself because there are times when he is standing in harm's way of those Dartinian big bunches. Donaire has to be extremely focused against the, the awkward, herky, jerky moves of, of uh, Vic Dartinian. <laughs> that was a seminal moment in this fight. A big left hand by Darchinian, and Donaire counters him with the left hook. This is really turning into an interesting fight here in round two. Some pretty good give and take. Good two-way action here in the early going for the IBF flyweight crowd. Well, you know, the interesting thing about this is it's almost as if Darchinian has stepped up in weight because Donaire is, by trade, a 115-pounder. And so we're getting a clue of how things would go for him in the 115-pound division. Darchinian missing again with a straight left there. And Darchini has landed some more good straight left hands in this round. He's had a better second round. I don't know if he's winning it, but it's been better. Well, he's usually a slow starter. I mean, even in fights in which he, he has been highly combustible later on. Kind of pushed Donaire back with heavy lefts there is Darchinian. But the Donaire standing his ground, looking tough. Final seconds of round two. What is developing into an interesting affair. Well, as we mentioned earlier, back in October here on Showtime, Victor... It's good second half of the round. He did come back very well. And not body work by uh, Donaire. 
Bechinian's finding the range with the uh, with the straight left, but I, the body work by Dunair in this round has been impressive. You can see the, the difference in height and reach uh, favoring the young challenger, Donair. Bechinian certainly has his vulnerabilities, as you can see, uh, looping his punches. As Al pointed out earlier, the defensive lapses, but his ultra con unconventional style and his incredible power usually bail him out. And when he straightens out those lefts, the power is compounded like just now. Now Darchinian going to the right. That was a counter left took a moment ago by Donaire. Every time Vic Darchinian kind of rushes in, he does get countered by Donaire. And that's an issue for him. Donaire has more well-rounded skills than uh, Darchinian. Darchinian usually just looks for that one punch to end it. He's kind of undisciplined, but it, it seems to work for him. Well, you know, Victor Chinian changes fighters when they come in the ring, and he's right. Once they felt his power, for the most part, Steve, they change. They can't use their skills. That hasn't happened yet to Nonito Donaire, but that's a good left hand by Darchinian. All the times, it's difficult to stay outside box move counter uh, against Darchinian. You have to sort of get his chest, push him back, make it messy, hook to the body. But that's easier said than done because if you get inside and you feel his sting, it's very discouraging. Now, to Donaire's credit, he has fought this whole fight for the most part at long range, used his jab and stayed there. And Vic has managed to get the straight left hand in from time to time, but I know not as much as he would want. So far, he hasn't hurt Donaire with that punch. Donaire being extremely calm and patient here. Waiting for his moments. The other thing Donaire did a moment ago was he fainted Darchinian, and you saw Darchinian react. Big oh, straight hell. left hand right on the button by Vic Darchinian. That nailed Donaire. Oh, there's a good left hand that staggered Darchinian. Remember, he's never been hurt or dropped in his career. Ironic that a left hook has been the big weapon for Donaire. Surprising. What a huge of trouble. It might be the first time he's been in trouble his entire career. And we'll see how he responds in this situation. Round four, scheduled for 12. And for his son. A lot of concern in the Darchinian corner as well, led by trainer Billy Hussein, who's 2-0 oh with Darchinian, so he's taking over from former world champion Jeff Fennick. You know what's it? Darchinian's able to get that left hand, when he, especially when he uses the jab. I think Vic Darchinian has not used his jab enough in this fight, Steve. And were he using it more, it would set up that straight left hand. You'll notice uh, both eyes red and swollen on Darchinian right now. Missing wildly with a straight left is Darchinian. So the eye Something he remembers much, and Donaire has been able to take advantage of it. Now, there's some roughhouse tactics by Darchinian. We talked about that before the fight. He likes to rough things up in there, but you can't do it, Steve, when your opponent, who has a big height and reach advantage, stays on the outside. Nice counter left there by Donaire. Another counter there by Darchinian. And a spin around move by Donaire. And Eddie Claudio is saying, don't do that. I kind of thought it was fun. <laughs> Works better in basketball. Yeah, that's true. Final seconds of the round. And Darchinian ends it with a straight left to the chest. Let's get it over to our... And Onito, more of a, a tactical technician. And Onito Donaire has some physical attributes, too, that his brother doesn't have. He's taller, he's got the reach, uh, and he's a little bit bigger. And so all of that is troubling Vic Darchinian right now. Darchinian came in thinking that Onito uh, was more of a threat, that he was better than, than Glenn, taking nothing away mm -hmm. from, from Glenn's skills. Round five underway, scheduled for 12. IBF flyweight belt on the line. The champion Darchinian in the black. Struggling a little bit with the challenger in the red, Nonito Donaire. Nice shot to the you know, body there by Donaire. Exactly, Steve. And the body work Donaire's done over the first four and a half rounds could pay 
dividends later in the fight. Donaire thinks he'll own the later rounds. Uh, in, in his last 12-round fight, uh, Donaire against Oscar Andrade won the last three rounds dramatically to win that decision. He feels he's going to be the stronger fighter in the later rounds. And our panel of press row scores have it as a, yes, a majority draw after four rounds. I have a 39-37 as Sherman Kane does. Sherman Kane from the Manchester Journal Inquirer here in Connecticut. Mark Abrams, 15rounds.com. Jack Obermeyer from Boxing Digest. Coming up at the midway point of round five. There's the jab by Nonito Donaire at working well. Oh! 